What's going on? Uh, I'm sure everyone has heard the news by now of John Jones threatening to kill a UFC drug tester after they come to his home to, you know, test him. So I just wanted to go through some some of it and just, you know, give my thoughts and opinions. So first off, I don't like John Jones to begin with. The guy's cheated multiple times. He's got he's beaten his wife multiple times. So when I saw this, I wasn't really surprised. If anything, I thought it, like the timing was kind of like when I saw it, I was like, oh, is this like a late April Fool's joke? Did they like miss this or something? But uh, I like read into it more and it's real. And some of the things I want to go. So one of the things I've been saying a lot is people like defending John Jones because uh, CCTV footage came out of or like his security camera footage came out of him you know, walking the people out of his house and giving and like giving a high five and like a like a side hug to them. And so a lot of people are saying, oh, well, they're cool. So it's OK. Nothing really happened. And one thing I just want to say is, you know, if John Jones threatens to kill you and you're a drug testing agent, you're going to try and, you know, work it out you're not gonna go stand there and be like oh you're you think i'm just gonna let they're not dan it's not like daniel cormier and daniel cormier 2 showed up does but it's like oh yeah you think you're gonna kill me john are you gonna kill two of me at the same time it's not like that it was like a little five foot four drug tester with her boyfriend and they just wanted to test john because you know you're a ufc champion paper champ and what <laughs> you fucking oh i was i'm i was partying i was a birthday party doesn't matter john any place any time they can test you it's like you know the rules of this by now like never before has an incident happened where a fighter has had to get aggressive sure we've seen like paulo costa get mad but he didn't like because, like, they interrupted, like, his weight cut at, like, 6 in the morning. But he didn't, like, threaten them, and he didn't get physical with them. He just, like, yelled at them and said, fuck you guys for doing this. Okay? He didn't threaten. He didn't say, you come try and do this shit again, I'm going to kill you. Or, you know what happens to people who try to who try to test me at 3 in the morning when I'm weight cutting? They, I, they end up dead. So, I, I don't think... The, there's a lot to excuse in the situation and on top and, and again if they're coming out and and people and people are saying oh well they're cool no one's gonna try and fight john jones or if he says they end up dead they're not gonna stand there and be like oh they end up dead yeah well you ain't gonna do that to us buddy no one's gonna say that you're gonna be like all right listen i think we got off on the wrong foot maybe we can just uh you know slow things down a bit all we need is a sample okay you're not gonna try and fight him and i don't think people a lot of people know like this doesn't look good for john jones because you know the guy who's popped multiple times popped five times had his fight with daniel cormier turned over because he popped had testosterone lower than a castrated male during the Cormier fight. You know, the man who has beaten his wife, had a hit and run with the pregnant lady, multiple DUIs, and those DUI and the 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 footage from those DUIs show aggressive encounters with him talking back and, and getting aggressive. People like just kinda wanna like, oh well, you know, he probably didn't do it. I wouldn't put it past John Jones to threaten to kill a drug testing agent. And it doesn't look good because your champion who, uh, he only popped for a picogram and it got overturned and, and that, that commission doesn't even 
won't even doesn't even count that much anymore. What are you gonna say to the guy who was try who was ref, trying to like refuse the drug test and threatened to kill the testing agents? I mean, and like his argument for it, he sent out a post. Uh, I I might throw it up on the screen. He th he he made like a statement. And the rundown of it was, uh, no, -uh, I didn't say that. I should be able to have a birthday party in my own home. There was no threats. Everything ended amicably. Uh, they acted unprofessional. I got a little bit angry. That's basically what he said. This isn't a good look for John Jones. A guy who's, you know, he. Remember, he's recovering. And what we know from steroids is steroids help over the, the, the recovering process, recovering from stuff. Steroids help recover from injuries. And what we know from steroids is that a very common injury for steroid abusers is a pectoral tear, which is what John had. So I wouldn't put it past John, who got a pectoral injury, a common injury from steroids, to use steroids to heal who has popped multiple times for steroids and then gets mad at the drug testing agents who are testing him for, guess what, steroids and tries to refuse it. This is not a good look for John, not at all. Anyone can say whatever they want. The history and every... And he said he was celebrating a birthday party. On top of what the drug tester said, they said he was intoxicated. And they said, why... Apparently, they said, he, he said, why do you guys come so early? People who come to my house usually end up dead. And it was 4 p.m. when they came. So he was drinking in the, middle after, in the middle of afternoon. And even in his post, he said he was hungover. So the guy was probably, in, he was probably intoxicated at the time. And probably had a drunk, like, outburst at the drug testing agents. Then again, apparently it was the drug testing agent and her boyfriend. I don't know what that's about. Apparently it violated some HIPAA laws. I mean, if it was a drug testing agent and her boyfriend that does violate HIPAA laws because if he's unless he's a tester, unless they were they're just dating and they both do the drug testing together, that's a little bit of a weird kink to go around you go around collecting people's piss and you're dating together do you like pour it on each other or something that'd be a little bit uh, do, you, do you think they te do they test it and then like pour it on each other that's besides the point this this is a horrible look for john i mean drunken violent out drunken outburst at the drug testing agents where you accused to kill him and people and apparently he took the tester's phone and the tester only made the report after they left which kind of lines up a bit i mean if john did take the take the woman's phone then that would explain why she wouldn't have made a report immediately because she might have taken her phone out to try and maybe call the police he grabs the phone and then he just says whatever come i'll piss in the cup and then he's like and then walking out all right, you're going to fucking high-five me. You're going to give me a hug, make a funny move. You're fucking done for. I have cameras right there, okay? You know, that pro he probably didn't do all that. I'm, pro I'm just fucking around with that. He probably didn't do that. They probably did that on their own volition, but they were probably because they were scared. It's a real touchy situation, but no matter what, this is a bad, bad look for John. And here's what I honestly think. I don't want him suspended. I want him stripped. I want the man stripped. Don't suspend him, strip him. And this will really, because this, this is a bad moment for the end of his legacy. And it'll really show, that, and at the end of his legacy, it'll show that, does he want to fit, does he, really want to have the tough ta challenges at the end of his career does he really truly want that desire to be a champion at the end of his career 
Or does he want to go out right off into the sunset and fight the guy who has a name in the heavyweight division rather than the guy who's the champion? So I think if they strip John, it'll promote Aspinall to Undisputed. And I think it'll force him to make a decision that will define the rest of his career. But those are just my thoughts. Those are just my thoughts on it. Uh, I wouldn't put it past him. I think John Jones is a scumbag. I think he's a horrible fucking human being. But I'm not going to sit here and act like this is all said and done. They, these very well could be lies. Okay? Again, the woman comes with her boyfriend. And... You know, the woman was the drug tester. Conf the woman was the confirmed tester. They don't know about the boyfriend. You know, he said he... You know, again, he said he didn't... Gra he said he grabbed her phone on accident and put it back down. There's a lot of intangibles. This very... The woman very well could have just lied about everything. And then that'd be completely fucked up. And we kill that woman. Not really. We ban her. And we don't let her get a job ever again. But... If, if it's all true, terrible look for John, you gotta strip him. If it's all true, if it all comes out to be true, strip John. But, yeah, those are just my thoughts on it. Again, fuck situation. If John isn't, if John, if it happened to be a lie, then I feel bad for John. He didn't really deserve, eh, he doesn't deserve it at this point, if it's all a lie. I, I hate him, but if it's all a lie, then he doesn't deserve it. But if it's all true, then he's, again, a scumbag. And you're threatening to kill, like, a five foot four woman. Congratulations, John. But again, it could all be fake. I'm saying that's all if it's true. But that's a, those are just my thoughts. Uh, tell me what you guys think on this down below. That's it. See ya.